Hello and welcome to The 1% Solution. Here you'll find tips and tools to help you acquire more physician clients one small step at a time. I'm Dr. Vicki Rackner, your host. This week's tip, know what not to do. These ideas are inspired by my recent attendance at a surgical meeting. An anesthesiologist made a presentation about what went into designing a state-of-the-art operative suite. Here's the biggest mistake. Don't ignore the details. The anesthesiologist said that the team wanted to optimize the patient experience. What does this have to do with you? Well, every time you see the word patient, simply substitute client. How would you optimize the client experience? Well, there are some things that are no-brainers. If you're a patient, you want a warm blanket. You want to be greeted by somebody with a smile. But when they dug a little deeper, they came up with some surprises. For example, Patients prefer to be wheeled into the operating room feet first rather than head first. It gives them more of a sense of control. The OR suites were designed to keep frightening things out of patients' view. So scrub sinks and equipment and even suction containers were put behind a staging area that patients had no visual access to. Do you keep frightening things out of your client's view? What about the reading materials in the waiting room? Are they uplifting? When you make a presentation to prospects or clients, are there pages and pages of numbers? Physicians are sticklers for privacy. Is there anything in your office that might potentially be a violation of other clients' confidentiality? As the OR design team interviewed the patients and their family, they discovered that one of the most stressful times in the process is when the family says goodbye to their loved one. The waiting room is literally right outside of the operating room. There's a computer-generated board that describes the patient's progress. Each patient is given a number so the family members can follow along. Do you know what part of your process is difficult for your clients and their family? Do you have a plan to keep family close and informed? Here's an important point for you. Surgeons wanted their own custom trays. Let's say a surgeon is doing an appendectomy. There are standard tools that most surgeons want. However, some surgeons want special tools. Do you customize the experience for each of your physician prospects? This week's tip is don't overlook the details. As an exercise, pretend you're a new prospect and go through your process. Are the details all taken care of? Thanks for stopping by today. Hope that you found value in this content. Tune in next week for your next 1% solution. Please feel welcome to pass this content along to your colleagues or your broker dealer.